Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and what I have for you today is a moisturizer from the Christian Dior Catcher Total Skincare line. Now this moisturizer is uh, good for normal to dry skin and is supposed to be uh, anti-aging. There's 200 milliliters or 6.7 fluid ounces in the bottle. So I'm just going to open up the box and then we'll take a look at the moisturizer and then I'll go into the description of the, uh, the packaging afterwards. So without further ado, I'm just going to open this up for the very first time. Now I took a look at the Christian Dior uh, website and this specific product doesn't seem to be no longer available, although this uh, skincare line does have other, um, other products probably with similar or the same ingredients. Let's see if I can just open this up. Okay, I was all able to open up the top of this box. And I'm going to just see, I'm going to flip this open. And here we go. Very interesting. So it is, uh, I'm going to call it a sort of like a beige rose color bottle. There's the front. Oh, pardon me, this is the back. And it's made in France. And this is the front of the bottle. And then inside the box... I'm just going to pour this out. Okay. They have an information package. It tells you how to apply it. Okay. So let's see if I can get this bottle open. I don't know if it's sealed. Alright, so I was able to take the lid off and it is sealed, so I'm just going to open this up. I took the seal off and as you know, if you follow my other videos, I love to pour things into little containers and give you my first impressions of products. So it says actually that you should be using a um, cotton pad. I might just use a Q-tip. I'm just going to give you a closer look at this lotion. And apparently you can use this lotion um, both uh, day and night and you're supposed to apply it after you've uh, washed your face. Sorry, this video may be a little bit on the, uh, the, the long side here. Uh, it smells uh, very, um, very nice. It's not overwhelming. And in a moment, we're going to take a look at the box. Okay. So here's the front. And then on the sides. In anti-aging skincare, advance, advance, advances are common, but revolutions are rare. Mother cells have opened up a new era in the world of beauty care. From within the epidermis, mother cells are an essential source of youth. Great. This box is, uh, has very small print and it's very descriptive, so I'm just going to bring in um, a close-up of the box so you can read for yourself. And it's both in English and in French. Rich pre-treatment lotion applied with a, with a cotton mor morning and night to perfectly cleanse skin before one essential and or multi-perfection concentrated serum. And then written in some other languages. Inside the box. And then I'm just going to show you down at the bottom. And those are the list of the ingredients. Okay, so while we're looking um, at the bottle, I'm just going to put the lid on in a second, and then also the, um, the information package. I just want to give you some tips about buying expensive skincare product. I think the first thing you need to do is decide whether or not you actually need the skincare product. And actually, the other thing you need to do is um, find out what the ingredients are in, the, in that product. So if it's supposed to be for, like, you know, like I just said, like anti-aging, uh, does that uh, ingredient actually work for anti-aging, like I just said? 
And then also um, buying an expensive skincare product, you it's almost like buying a car. Now, obviously, you can't drive a skincare product. But the, the more work you put into it, the more confident you're going to be about buying an expensive uh, expensive uh, skincare skincare product. Um, the other thing is, is that you have to be committed to be using the skincare product uh, long term. Now, there is 200 milliliters in here. And it seems quite rich. I've just put it on my skin. Um, it feels it feels nice. Again, but uh, in terms of long term use, not not just using it like one one week. Like I mean, we're talking like a couple of months um, to make sure that whatever you're trying to do that the the product actually um, works. And um, the other thing is, is that it's nice to also get a sample of the skincare product. So uh, to make sure you don't have any allergic reactions. Uh, when I was doing some research on this, some people didn't like the smell. They thought it was too perfumey, but for me, it was, it was fine. The other thing about um, skincare products, especially the more expensive ones, you have to make sure that it's going to work with your other skincare products, such as sunscreens or other serums that you might be using. And again, if you can use it both day and night. And if you have oily skin, is it going to make it break out? Would it... I'm just going to show you the bottom of the box one more time again. Right. Okay, very small print. Uh, sometimes I feel like when you're doing research on skincare products, you almost feel like a little scientist. So when I was looking at the ingredients, um, the main one was aqua, which is water, and also some of the other ones, other ingredients I can pronounce that aren't Latin. The such thing is glycerin. Also, this product contains. Um, I'm just gonna prop that back up, and you can take a look down here again. It also contains. Um, uh, sweet almond oil, alcohol, soy protein, evening prim rose, root extract, citric acid, and also uh, yeast extract. I wasn't expecting it to contain um, almond oil. Right. So, over here, um, in terms of directions, I guess this is the, the French side, and there is some English. And it's telling you how to apply it putting it over your face, around your eyes, and then, I guess, in a circular motion, around your cheeks, and then down your neck, and then up on your temple. Over here, that's application method. Then down over here, it talks a little bit more. Um, capture to tail, complete age-defining experience, similar to what was written on the, on the box. And from the skincare line, they also have ones for uh, like the sermons, um, and then also um, eye treatments. And then what's okay? Then rinse them in, in other languages for this this uh, for this moisturizer. I keep up want to call it a moisturizer. I guess because of the consistency. I guess it's more like a serum. All right. I'm just going to bring it a little bit closer. So it almost feels like water. That's why I guess it's in between sort of like a serum. And uh, like almost like a uh, a toner, but sort of a thicker one. You can see it. Sorry. Okay. Hey guys, I thought it was important that I go over the instructions uh, found in this uh, little pamphlet over here, or this information slip in the box. So I'm just going to read this out. So application method. Number one, after cleansing your face and applying the pretreatment concentrated lotion with a cotton pad, gently and deeply pinch the skin with, fing with fingertips rotating outward over the face. This movement increases tone, stimulates the epidermis, and optimizes the penetration of the concentrated serum and cream. So I guess that's referring to diagram number one over here. And then diagram number two. Eye treatment. Remove a small amount of eye treatment and dab into dab onto the eye contour and temples. S smooth gently around the eyes and pat until the product is completely abs completely absorbed. And then for diagram number three, concentrated serum and cream. Remove a small amount of product and warm it in your hands. Then smooth over the face and neck. Massage the neck, enveloping it with your hands in a, in an alternative um, alternating sorry stumbling on my words here a bit envelope enveloping it with your hands in an alternating movement massage your cheeks with an upward and outward movement
That looks like some gymnastics for your face. And then number four, finish the finish by gently massaging the forehead with your fingertips without lifting your hands. Stroke the forehead with an outward movement towards the temple. Finish by gliding your hands down the sides of your face and neck, down to to your. Uh, I'm going to pronounce that word incorrectly. It's a French word, I guess, removing, uh, referring um, down towards your chest. And the French word is D-E-C-O-L-L-E-T-E -E, until the product is completely absorbed. Now, I poured more of the product into this container so you can get a much better look at the consistency. When you pick it up, though, it's very, it just, like I just said before, it literally just, it doesn't feel like jello, it, but it does, it's, it's still very watery, but it's not um, like a syrup. There you go. You get the idea. You're seeing it dripping off of my finger. And when I applied it to my face, um, it felt very, it felt very nice, and it seemed like it absorbs into my skin. It doesn't seem to irritate it at all. But it is kind of perfumey. Um, I'm okay with the scent, and I guess it's from the the rose, the rose, and maybe maybe some of it because it. It smells like, to me it smells, it smells almost like sham, shampoo, but a, a nice shampoo. Remember, it's got, it got, has rose and, and sweet almond oil in it. All right. So thanks so much if you've made it to the end of this video. And thanks everybody who's been, been watching my videos. If you have any other questions, just free to comment down below. And let me know if you've ever tried anything um, from Christian Dior in terms of their high-end skincare products. Okay. I also like their makeup at, at, as well. Christian Doors is a, is a, um, a lot of fun. Okay. So, so have a wonderful day and, uh, all the best. Cheers.